Well, it's a shade after three. Surf Church Sunday. Just got home. I had to drop off the uh, lawnmower blade in the grass clippers and that one single knife. I had to pick up some knives at the oceanfront. And while I was out, the other guy called me and I met him at Trader Joe's. The guy at the oceanfront, he gave me a block. And the kid had met me, he gave me a Victor Knox, a little Gerber serrated knife, and a Kershaw. So while I was out, you remember I burned that up yesterday? Well, my buddy in Texas, Gary, told me there, these were on sale. Akita, four and a half inch, 69 bucks, Home Depot. So I got one. I'll take it out tomorrow and show it to you. You know what the angle grinder is. No big deal. This is a nice old Victor Knox here. It's not, it, it doesn't be in too bad a shape. But I can't read Victor Knox anywhere. It must have had some use, you know. I don't know what's in here. He's got them jammed everywhere. That's another Victor Knox. I can see the sign on that one. Look at this baby. This is a M. Ken Ma Kes I can't tell. Something model. K-E-S. It is Kes. And we got a... <laughs> we got a hankle with no tip. Yeah, I like this is probably a set of ankles. No, there's a wood stall here. Another wood stall. China. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Now, this is a hankle, probably original out of this, out of this block. Yes, yeah, a little wood stall. Here's another China baby. And a pair of I don't know, it's just stainless. But they come apart. Okay, I got something to do tomorrow. I'll probably do these on a the wicked edge for the kid. Just for the hell have something to do. Alright, it's freezing out here. I gotta get inside. I'll see you tomorrow. Good luck to everybody. Well, I haven't done the pocket knives. I buffed them all up and got the scratches and the chips out of them, out of that one anyway. And I buffed up the Victor Knox, but I haven't washed them or anything yet. And then I finished all up the ones that were in the block. The two Chinese knives, scissors, the three wood stalls and the hangle, that cast model, and I think this was a hangle. And this is a Victor Knox. All I gotta do now is give them a bath. And I'm done for the day. I gotta deliver these back by three o'clock. That's all I gotta do. Oh no, I forgot that. I gotta I'm gonna put these on a the wicked edge. I'll do them in a little while when I get home. Won't take too long. Okay. Stand by. Well, I just dropped off the uh book blocking eyes to the fellow at the ocean front. I'm headed home. He gave me a set of hedge trimmers and he wants me to sharpen it up. <laughs> he said, I, I can't open them. I mean, he's a really old guy. I mean, a lot older than me. But they were just froze up a little teeny bit. But they're rusty. They looked like they were brand spanking new. And he might have used them like two or three times. Maybe. Got a little teeny bit of sap on them. Or, you know, hedge juice, I call it. But they were, uh, they were like a light dark colored rust all over them. Well, I got some new toys, you know. I'm going to experiment with it. See how it does. Put the Gary effect on it. My buddy in Texas, he does, uh, he goes to extremes on uh, hedge trimmers and things like that. Puts them like polishes them. And sort of like what I do with knives, he does it to hedge trimmers and lopers and, and uh, pruners. Alrighty. I'm going to stop at this stoplight at the ARE 
Association for Research and Enlightenment. Edgar Casey. I don't know if y'all know who Edgar Casey is. If you don't, Google him. He was a psychic. This is his headquarters. Been here for years and years and years. I mean. Okay, that's enough information for you. 22 degrees. Looks perfect. I got it in the, I got it in the bottom holes. It was hard to hold in the top holes. So I moved it to bottom holes and put it at 22. It looks perfect. Okie dokie. Let's proceed. That son of a gun has jumped out again. Look at that. Just jumped up. Ain't that something? I got some painter's tape on that now. See how that holds. Okay. Now we're going to the three micron DMT diamonds. For the wicked edge. Then we go to the ceramic. This wouldn't clamp at all when the first hole kept jumping right out. So I put it in the second hole and it was too deep. So I kind of took the I took the uh, alignment thing out of the key and moved it in between. And uh, I had to move it out to 25 degrees to get the match the angle that was on there. But now I got it. Stand by. The Gerber. So far everything is holding. I'm finishing up on the 800s now, getting ready to go to the thousands on this Gerber. I did his, remember he had a Victorinox, big chef's kitchen Victorinox? I did that on the uh, Kalamazoo when I was doing that blocking knife. All right, I'm going to switch over to the uh, 1000s now. Done. I, that, I do have to strap them both. I'm, I'm going to strap them on the leather belts on this thing with some uh, white compound. Maybe. <laughs>